officially at DFW Airport, we had the most rain we've ever had on that date. And in fact, here's the crazy part. As we pull up the graphic here, you'll see. Let's take a look at this. Let's break this down a little bit more. In a normal June month, we'll see just over three and three quarters inches of rain. Look at what we had on Saturday morning. As Dan was alluding to, we had all of that rain come in about a 12 hour time period. We had more rain yesterday than we typically have for the entire month. That put us at the fifth wettest June so far uh, since we've been keeping records, about 110 years here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. The wettest June, 1928. We had nearly 11 and a half inches of rain. Don't think we're going to quite break that record or, the, or even hit number four or three for that matter, but we do have some isolated rain chances, and we'll get to that here in just a few more minutes before the month is over. Here's a look out at North Dallas right now 86 degrees, beautiful afternoon, east northeast winds at about seven, pretty quiet for us here, pretty quiet conditions all across North Texas as temperatures are now falling out, falling down from daytime highs where we warmed to 88 officially at DFW Airport, 85 now in McKinney. Down down towards Athens, outside the Metroplex here at 82, and off towards Sherman, uh, also sitting at 83 degrees. Satellite and radar pretty quiet here locally. A little bit of cloud cover trying to roll its way back in along the Red River. But the real actions down to the south of us, that cold front that has now stalled out, is still giving rain showers in southern portions of Bell County into central Texas, down towards Austin. We're going to see that transition its way back northward on Monday into Tuesday, and that'll slightly give us better rain chances throughout the afternoon time frame. So here's our forecast hour by hour tomorrow. We'll start out into the 70s, creep our way back into the upper 80s once again. Our best chances for rain are very isolated, but they're going to be in the afternoon, peak heating of the day, and then we'll wind things down pretty quiet. You'll see that here in the future sky forecast. The cloud cover returns overnight, and we may see a splash or dash in the morning commute. Not going to be much of a weather play for us. It'll keep us cloudy, and that'll keep temperatures back into the mid part of the afternoon. A few cells to the south of Corsicana and up Interstate 35 will possibly give us some splash or dash thunderstorms in that 1 to 3 p.m. time frame across the Dallas Fort Worth area, and much the same tomorrow afternoon. That'll clear out, and we'll see the same thing pretty much happen on Tuesday with generally clear skies. We'll heat back up into the near 93 degree realm. That's where we should be for this time of year, and it'll also increase the humidity with the winds out of the east at about 10 miles per hour. So for Monday, we'll see better rain chances south of Cleburne and Fort Worth. We'll see isolated shots here in the Metroplex and further up towards the Red River. The next five days, we're looking at uh, only some rain chances through Tuesday, and then we dry out through at least Friday. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. Temperature-wise, pretty comfortable the next couple of days. It will start to become a little bit more humid Thursday into Friday as we see those temperatures climbing into the mid-90s and winds back out of the southeast at 5 to 10.